This Sipper experience is brought to you in part by the United Negro College Fund Special Programs Corporation and the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. The Curriculum Improvement Partnership Award Project funds innovative advances in the areas of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. SIPA assists minority institutions in creating STEM programs that elevate institutional prestige and prepare future generations of students for successful careers in the fields of science and technology. Located in Rock Hill, South Carolina, Clinton Junior College is one of the state's oldest institutions of higher learning. The college was one of the first in North Carolina to care for and educate freed slaves. It has continued a legacy of tradition by not only teaching today's young men and women, but also working to prepare them for the future by seeking knowledge on how to put together a grant proposal and using the information to apply. The college was granted a SEPA award. Elizabeth Reed, one of the original authors of the proposal, talks about the history of the school and why it was important to win this award. Clinton Junior College was established in 1894. It was created to have a school for recently or newly freed slaves. At that time, the state did not provide any kind of educational opportunities for minorities. The school's faculty understood the importance they played in education. Throughout history, the college has helped to motivate and develop minority students from high school and on to college. Its main course offerings are in the liberal arts discipline. Historically, it was a school that had a high school education and also offered teaching certificates. And once you finished your time here at Clinton, you were either able to go directly into the college department. After finishing the college department, you were given uh, credentials for teaching in the state of South Carolina. Upon learning about SEPA and with no prior experience in putting together a grant proposal, the assigned faculty members decided to educate themselves with the process and how it would benefit and improve their institution's needs. We learned about the NASA SEPA Awards program after attending a grants writing workshop at Johnson C. Smith University. And once we got there, we found that there were colleges all up and down the East Coast that had been able to enhance their uh, science departments, even build buildings with grant monies. With completion of the grant writing workshop, the mission was now to go after the award. The support and guidance from the college's president was necessary before this process would go forward. That grant was the first uh, competitive grant that we received um, in uh, 203. Uh, I think it um, created more visibility for the institution. It also helped our faculty to um, obtain many of the materials that they needed. As a result, a science club a STEM club was um, formed. Uh, students were able to participate in a number of uh, activities, field trips, going to a number of, of places. In addition, I think it uh, helped our other faculty to realize that we could be competitive uh, in writing grants for other uh, support. As interest grew, faculty began to put together a needs assessment plan and began improvements to their own teaching skills in order to improve the college's chances of securing the award. We were interested in applying for a grant because we recognized immediately that our needs for improving our curriculum, for offering courses and experiences to our students to help make them competitive were just not happening with what we had to offer here. Clinton Junior College looked to the SEPA Award as a pathway to enhancing their current curriculum and the incorporation of the NASA goals in order to strengthen and expand their current course offerings. Our curriculum goals and objectives once the grant was uh, received, awarded, was to offer additional content to enhance the content area, to enrich the content areas that were presently being offered in both biology, chemistry, computer science, math. One of the biggest rewards that the college received was the benefit of the award. The students were able to work with newly purchased supplies and instruments. 
the NASA SEPA grant has enabled us to open up an entire new approach to teaching here at Clinton, one that I'm very proud of and one that our students have been able to benefit from, and that's the bottom line, to offer experiences that will enable them to go anywhere and say, oh yeah, I know what that is, we did that. Clinton Junior College has not only benefited from the receipt of the SEPRA award, but throughout its experiences, the college has been granted additional awards from other agencies, allowing it to reach, teach, and prepare its students of today for tomorrow and beyond. The institution itself has benefited from uh, the NASA SEPA grant that we were awarded in 2003. Now there are more than 15 other grants that have been awarded to the institution, but NASA was the first one. SEPA is committed to increasing the quantity and quality of STEM curricula that are central to the NASA mission. SEPA also strives to bolster the number of minority students who study these disciplines and pursue careers in NASA-related fields. The United Negro College Fund Special Programs Corporation, serving as a portal between the visions of minority institutions and the funding priorities of our nation.